101. Oh, dear God. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? Why is there a gimp? Why is there a gimp? All right, we are here today taking a look at a little banger with a really fairly big brand to it. In Cyanide, in Happiness, Freak Apocalypse. That is correct, you heard me right. This is actually a Cyanide and Happiness game with the members of the Cyanide and Happiness team actually being fully involved with this as well. Recurring characters, voices, yada yada yada. This is only the Steam Summer demo though, unfortunately. The game is slated to come out in summer, so hopefully maybe a month or two from now we shall see it. And if you guys enjoy it, I'll definitely be covering it. It's an adventure game and all about that. Plus we got an adventure game with apparently a post-apocalyptic setting and dark humor. It basically screams foul. Let's get to it. Halt! Stop right there, criminal! Well, what's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's simple enough. You've just gotta grab a holly pass. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though. So don't get your hopes up, buster! Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, huh, times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. Okay, we gotta make ourselves a, a holly pass. I actually like that. Welcome to Freak Pot, Lucy plays play as our reluctant hero, Coop. Helping navigate all sorts of terrible, horrible, no good, very bad situations by pointing and clicking everything you see. We'll show you the basics. Oh, you, dog, I'm I'm a master when it comes to adventure games. You don't need to tell me. You move and you click on stuff. That's all you need to do. All right. I got an achievement for participation as well. <laughs> good. Participation trophy already. I excel at those in real life. All right, so I saw people over here sucking face. Man, goodness, God, there's a huge size differential between the both of them. Chad has picked me up like that before, but it was by the neck. That's good. I really don't want Chet picking me up and tongue wrestling me that way. What if I no touch way. him? No way! Chet will touch me back! Hard! I don't think he washes his hands either. Well, that's the least of our problems, huh? She's your popular cheerleader type who hates guys like me. Sounds about right. Alright, let's um see if we can talk to this lovely couple here. Hey, uh, guys? Would you mind, uh, stepping aside so I can get into my locker? Uh, excuse me. Mm, yeah, that's a good feeling. Uh, hello? Mm, I like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, when you're just like in the heat of passion with somebody and you're like, you have to stop momentarily and be like, you know what? That right there is a good feeling. Okay, boy, you two sure are going at it hot and heavy, huh? Hey, the bell just rang. Did you hear it? You're gonna be late for whatever that might be? It was actually starting to turn me on. Well, I mean... You know, this is actually starting to turn me on. Chet, he's really creeping me out. You perverted little shit! I'm trying to suck face with my babe! I just can't help it. It's like watching two earthworms sumo wrestle. I just want to stare harder. That's it! I can't do this here! There's a great spot under the bleachers outside where we can continue our mega makeout session. Totally. But first... Hey everyone! Coop's a pervert who likes to watch us make out! I guess everyone finding me creepy still has its perks. Why, why, why are they gonna kick me in the balls because I like to watch? As a matter of fact, if this guy is supposedly a pervert as much as he is, I think the last thing you'd want to do is actually kick him in the balls because, you know, you might actually enjoy it, is all I'm gonna say. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. Alright, so we need a pencil. By the way, let's look at our UI here. How do I do that? That's inventory. Little backpack, cool. There we go, chores. Main chores. 
Find someone to make you a hall pass. Side chores, locker lamentations. Open your locker, which apparently we need a, uh, a pencil for. All right. Where do we acquire a pencil? Good question. Let's start with the faculty I office. I can't go there without a hall pass. Oh, that's a shame. Janitor. Damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. Or how many bodies, for instance, huh? 101? Oh, dear God. Ooh. Excuse me? Why is there a gimp? Why is there a gimp? In the classroom. Is that you, Murphy? Is that you teach the class? I mean, like, Mr. Garrison flashbacks here. Except, it would be Slave, not Garrison. Dressed as a gimp. Uh, Murphy, let's uh, talk to you. What the hell? <laughs> Mr. Murphy? <laughs> oh, so this is out of the norm. Okay, I thought that he would just basically conduct class dressed like a gimp, but apparently it's after class hours, he's over here, I guess I'll just gimp it up. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> okay, I can see that, but why have you gagged yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Do it yourself, but I really think this is inappropriate for school. <laughs> Why don't you do this at home? <laughs> don't you think that's taking your tenure too far? <laughs> Good point. I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Oh, um, I, 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 got, I got so caught up in the uh, gimp madness here that we apparently got a pencil here. Perfect. I'll just take that you don't mind, right? Seem to be busy with, with other me, things. My groovy graphite companion. All right, so we should be able to get into our locker. Who's this guy? This guy really likes to mull over his book purchase decisions. That's a book fair. Oh man, I remember book fairs. Book fairs were awesome when I was a kid, man. Give me like a little book, and I'd order stuff off the catalog. I'd show up at the book fair, and they'd have my order in the bag. It was awesome. Goosebumps were obviously the number one buyer back then. And in those days, Nichols had pictures of bumblebees on them. Give me five bees for a quarter, you'd say. Sweet! It's nice to know pencils still have a use in modern times. I'll have Grandma sign this later so I can go on the school field trip to the bomb shelter. Nah, <laughs> nice. It is supposed to be, uh, you know, an apocalyptic setting, so I guess it hasn't happened just yet, but at some point, bombs will be dropping or something. Okay, so we have... Uh, this slip here. Asbestos poisoning, student lost, student found, student organs sold in the black market, apocalyptic events, oh right, and bombs, of course. <laughs> of course. I better get this thing signed. Right. So, let's see, find someone, we still gotta find someone to make us a hall pass, though. Should we talk to this, um, character here? Maybe he knows anything about hall passes. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of stuff, really. Basically anything that doesn't focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, yeah. I meekly agree. Need help finding something? Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. I got my eye on you. <laughs> oh, science jokes. The structure of bones. I like that at some point or another we apparently evolved into like, you know, fully statued individuals and then we apparently started de-evolving afterwards. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh my god. Froggies. Froggies. I don't think I ever cut anything open in high school. Or even in college, I think about it. I even had biology classes. I think my school was too broke to give those actual animals to cut open. Sugar. Ah, sugar. Everything a growing kid and future diabetic needs. Excellent. We got sugar. Why not? Let me talk to, um, sleepy professor here. Mr. Berno. Yeah, that's a snore, right? What if I tap him? I can't deny it. I really want his glasses. Hmm. Could we take them? If you think learning science is for squares, well, okay, yeah. Judging by those frames, maybe it is. Okay. What are you up to here? You look fairly concerned. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? 
According to my calculations, this should make either some silly putty or a deadly noxious gas. Uh oh, I see. Hmm. Could you find out after I leave the room? Thanks. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good cause for concern. What you reading? I stumbled upon some weird report on a massive supply of toxic chemicals under the school. Seems to be like a secret lab or something. Sounds like a ridiculous conspiracy theory with no truth to it whatsoever. Well, you might be right. Just like you're right about 9-11. Here, this will prevent the government from reading your mind when you play with yourself. This tinfoil hat will keep my thoughts from being transmitted to the mothership. Yeah, I did. All right. You seem to be very brightly colored. May I take you? Yeah. A rotten apple. Maybe there's a sleeping beauty somewhere that'll be my prom date. Well, we could go into the female's restroom. Make sure not to smoke in here, huh? Okay, we have a comb. I'd rather punch my grandma than touch that. That's, that's horrible. Uh, my hair is super dry already. Thanks. Yeah, plus we're also wearing a tin foil cap. Might be kind of weird. Is that a yeast bag? I've had to do my fair share of awful tasks, but getting yeast from the girls' bathroom is now right at the top of that list. Thanks for that. No, don't like that. Oh, sweet! A med kit! I'll keep this around in case I get any critical wounds. <laughs> Not exactly a med kit, but sure. Hey, right, well, we came out of the women's restroom, apparently. It's, can, we, can we grab... I don't know like... where that's been. No. Came out of the women's restroom with uh, yeast and tampons. Why not? Men's restroom. Or boys' restroom, I guess. All right. Homeboy over here taking your... Oh, we got the greasers. Wit. Wit. Check it out. Cool gel. Sweet. Now I can look like a bona fide cool boy, too. Got the pompadour. I got the greaser pompadour. Yeah, buddy, that's what's up. Brothers, I am here. I am one with you. Smoking, huh? How about that? Uh, hey guys, better be careful. The hall monitor's on a tear out there. Psh, we ain't afraid of no stupid hall monitor. We make our own hall passes, cause we're so cool. Uh, okay. C can you make me one? Only if you do something for us. What is it? Don't tell me it's using my face for punching practice again. <laughs> Not this time, but we'll keep it in mind. Don't want to get rusty. Get us the ingredients to make some school hooch. A.K. Scooch, A.K. the Devil's Backwash, A.K. Toilet Wine. We like to get drunk before a dare class. You mean that alcohol that prisoners make in the toilet? Gross. What are the ingredients? All right, here's a list of what we need. Fetch us what's on the list like a good little loser, and we'll get to your hall pass. Don't share the list around, though. It's my mom's secret recipe. Hurry up and get us the shit we need, man. Old fruit, yeast, a plastic bag, and some sugar. Or are you here for more punching practice? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I've had plenty of practice being punched. I'm actually pretty good at it. Then make yourself a moving target and get out of here! Yeah, make like a toilet and go find our stuff. Dude, that doesn't even make sense. Quit being lame or you're gonna lose your leather privileges. I mean, seems a little bit excessive way to get alcohol as a, as a young kid, you know what I'm saying? Popular way was, you know, you either hopefully find a respectable adult to get you some if you offer him an extra fiver or something on his way to the liquor store, or you could go the extra scummy route and, you know, just steal it yourself. I'm not advocating, I'm just saying I'm teaching you from my mistakes as a youngling, myself. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we have apparently everything except a plastic bag. Alright. Where can I find myself a plastic bag? All right, so we can't go in there, we can't go in here, anything of... Oh, 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 look at this. At least they make it fairly easy for a dumb man like myself. Grabbing a plastic bag from the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. <laughs> well, we got everything apparently, so that's good. Let's, uh, do we mix it ourselves? I mean, we're not really hooch experts like those cats are, but... Like my teacher says, that's wrong, Coop, and let's address that hygiene issue after class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work that way. Let's see, what about... 
bring, bring up bring up my thing here. Oh, it just returned to the cool boys. Okay. So I guess we didn't have to mix it ourselves. Holly, I will be with you soon. I will have this hall pass. Alright, boys. I got you. Here you go. Whoa, you came through! I knew you'd do whatever we say, like a little bitch. Wow. I guess you aren't as pathetic as you look. Uh, thanks? Yeah, we have your stupid hall pass ready. And if you tell anyone you got it from us, we'll cut you so many times, you'll be begging for a stab. Uh, I won't. I promise. What is it with greasers underneath a stab and slash at stuff, you know? It's giving me, like, it flashbacks. The official... Yeah, it's good spelling there, too. Hall pass. Skipping class without a holly pass. That's how you get a whooped ass. Oh, I like that part. All right, let's go give this off. Sweet! My very own fake hall pass. Finally! Freedom at my fingertips. Let's see Holly try to stop me now. That's what I was trying to do. Fuck yeah! Freedom! Thanks for playing the Freak Apocalypse demo. Huh? No! No! Ah! Damn it. Well, the demo's over, unfortunately. I was hoping for a bit longer, but, you know, it is what it is. Congrats, you've pointed and clicked your way to the end of the demo. Why is this so freaking loud? Jeez, oh yes, the music's so loud. Thanks for playing, yada yada yada. Alright, so, apparently summer. Maybe, hopefully, a month or two from now, we get to see the actual thing. And if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. We'll definitely come back and check it out. I don't mind covering adventure games. I'll catch you guys next time.